everyone, it's Anne here. Today I've got something completely different. Um, many years ago I was shown how to make a, a bag that's fully lined just with one pass of the sewing machine and it's all in the way you fold it. It can be a bit tricky and it, if you get the folding wrong it won't work out at all and it'll frustrate you. So it's it's all, as I say, in the folding, so I'll go through the stages of folding it with you. What I have here is two pieces of fabric. One is going to be the um, outside and the plain one is for the lining on the inside. This fabric doesn't have a right and a wrong side, but if yours does, then you need to put them right sides together. And the first thing to do before we fold it is just to run a seam along one of the narrow ends. So I'll just do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a seam across there. Now as I say, it's all in the folding. So I'm going to just turn it inside out and I'm going to press on that seam there. If you've got an iron, it's probably better, but I'm just going to do it with my fingers. And then Fold that like that and I take one of the pieces, in this case a lining, and fold it uh, about two thirds of the way up. You'll, you'll see it better in a second when I turn it over on the other side. So what we have is one layer, this layer that's got the seam at the top that's been folded the right way and then the lining underneath. Okay, And I'm going to sew it from the lining side up and I'm going to start to sew it in this corner. There's a, there's a, two folds here I'm going to start in this corner I hope that's on the camera in this corner and I'm going to sew all the way round like that down this side and I'm going to stop about three inches from the bottom and then I'm going to open the two pieces of lining and only sew down one of them. So I'll just sew it and then I'll show you when it's sewn together. I'll be back shortly. On this side it looks like I've sewn it round those three sides and I've still got the two folds open at the bottom. On this other side, the lining side, uh, I started at this bottom corner here where I did the pen marks. So along there, along there and down there. But I stopped about two inches, you know, just over two inches from the bottom and moved one piece of the lining to the side and just sewed the one piece of lining down, which I created a hole, if, if, in effect. I hope you can see that. Okay, like that. Now the trick is to start turning it the right way in through that hole. And you just hope and pray you folded it right and that it works properly. Okay, voila! We've got it right. Now it needs a good pressing. 
but there we have a bag that's fully lined that we made with one pass and that little hole inside in the lining you can just turn those edges in and just hand sew those row edges in if you like to finish it off. So there you have it. This fabric's not the best because it's very uh, kind of wobbly. It, it goes out of shape very easily. It's, it's Indian dyed cotton. I probably should have used something a bit stiffer for the demonstration. But anyway, I'm sure you'll get the idea that you can make a bag like that and it'd be a good bag to keep your journal in. If your journal's getting really thick and chunky and you've got lots of things dangling off it, if you make it to fit your journal, you can just slide your, your book in there and keep it all together. And as I've said before, whatever you make big, you can make small. So I made this small one here, like this. And I thought if you've got little treasures and trinkets you want to keep in your journals, you can make a small one and you can just attach that with a paper clip or a, a clamp or you could make it into a tag or something to stick in your journal. But anyway, I hope you find that useful. Over the years I've made lots of bags for various things, for library books and evening bags and things for the children. And uh, It was a handy hint to have, so I just thought I'd pass it on to you. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon in the next one. Have fun. Bye.